So today I'm going to look at TaxLayer, TurboTax, H&R Block, Free Tax USA, Tax Act, to find out which one is the best and which one is really the cheapest. So first, if we look at TaxLayer, almost every one of these online services have a free e-file for state and federal, but there's exceptions. So for example, if we look at TaxLayer, you have to have income less than $100,000. You don't claim dependents and they limit your interest to $1,500 or less. What's not covered in the free version is stock sales. So if you've sold any stocks and you have capital gains or losses, that's not included. Itemized deduction, earned income tax credit, rental property income, married filing separately. So all of those are excluded. Now, how much would it cost if we wanted those things? Well, so if you've got a business, it's gonna cost $52.95 and that's not including state. State costs $40, $39.95. So it starts to look not so good. Now, if we look at Tax Act, this is a software program. I used to use their software years ago, the downloadable one. After they changed hands, the pricing went up for everything and I switched over to Free Tax USA and I've been using them ever since. But Tax Act does have free filing. Now it's free for federal, it's $39.95 for state. And this only includes W-2 and unemployment. What isn't covered is investment income. So stock, interest, dividends, crypto, capital gains, losses, real estate taxes, mortgage interest, business income. So if you've got a small business, you can't do this one. Itemized deduction, health savings account, or any side hustle income, freelance income. That's not included. Okay, H&R Block. How does H&R Block compare? They also have a $0 one. And it's actually better than Tax Act in some ways because it's $0 per state, $0 federal. Now, H&R Block covers just W-2 and unemployment income, child tax credit. If you have investment income or rental property or crypto sales, then you have to do the premium one, which is $65 plus $37 for state. And if you've got the, and if you have a small business, then you're going to have to do the $85 one, and it's $37 per state. So it starts to look pretty pricey. Now we have TurboTax, historically probably the most popular. Now they have this thing here, $0 federal, $0 state, $0 to file. Now this says form 1040 plus limited credits only. And when we look here and see what it limits it to, it's basically just W-2 and interest and dividends that don't require Schedule B. So if you bought or sold any stocks, it doesn't include that. But it's nice that they included interest and dividends. And it only does standard deduction. You can't do itemized deduction. This also doesn't include business income. So if you have business income, crypto or stock sales, rental income, not included. Please press that like button. It costs nothing and it really helps the channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, please press that subscribe button and the notification bell. By the way, out of all of the products, TurboTax has the most complicated pricing structure. When I blew this up full screen so that everybody can see it properly on YouTube, I was looking for the pricing here, the breakdown, and basically I couldn't find it. It just says zero to $79 for do-it-yourself. I was clicking below, nothing was showing up. So you have to go above where it says select all that apply to see your prices. You have to select each of the options in order to get the pricing. The cheap one, the do-it-yourself, I paid rent, okay, that's still zero, but if you own a home, $39. If you donated to charity, $39. No good deed goes unpunished, right? If you have children or dependents, luckily that one's still zero. Rental property, if you own rental property, $79. If you are a gig worker or freelance, $79. Self-employed, $79. If you want to maximize deduction, $39. So basically, very complicated pricing. But TurboTax is not known for having simple pricing. And that's why they were sued $141 million recently for pricing related issues. Apparently many people qualified for a free filing, but TurboTax showed them that they did not qualify, something like that. Anyways, there's a, uh, a settlement, $141 million. The company that owns TurboTax Intuit recently purchased Credit Karma. Now, I actually used this company a few years back before Intuit purchased them. Now, when you go to do it, it's basically powered by TurboTax, so I'm not going to look at this one.
The next one is one I've never heard of before. It's called 1040.com and it says $25 for everyone. So there's one price for everyone. There's a lot of forms that are included, pretty much all the forms. So you've got capital gains, losses, business income, basically everything you need to do, but it's $25. Now we have Free Tax USA. This is one I've been using probably about 10 years now. It's been a long time and I've been very satisfied with them. You have to kind of scroll down to find this. This is actually a new thing, I think this year only. Free federal and state filing. Now they've always been free for federal, but they've always charged $15 for state filing if you're in a state that has state income tax. But this year the IRS has a thing where it's free filing with Free Tax USA. This is for anyone with adjusted gross income under $45,000. So if it's more than $45,000, then you're going to have to pay the $15 for the state, which isn't that bad, $14.99. If you're active duty military, then instead of $45,000 or less, it has to be less than $79,000 adjusted gross income. And all of the forms are included. Okay, now when we look at this, instead of seeing all the limitations that we saw with all the other software that I showed you, now you've got all supported for free, all the forms. You've got home ownership itemized deduction, dependents, self-employed, investments, rental property, everything. They don't limit you on the forms like the other ones do. You can do self-employment income just like you can. There's a huge list of alimony, education expenses, basically everything you can think of is on there. The only one that I saw that they don't really, they have foreign employment income, they don't include that and a few things, but I'm sure a lot of the other ones don't support this anyways. Okay, so the IRS has a free file program and many of the major tax software companies are participating. So Free Tax USA is participating. You have to have an adjusted gross income of 45,000 or less. You can be any age. It's free in all states for federal, just like the regular version, but you get free state filing in all states, but you do have to have 45,000 or less in income. So if it's higher than that, you're gonna have to pay the $15 for the state filing if you're in a state that has state taxes. Now for Tax Act, you can have a higher income. You can have an adjusted gross income of 79,000 or less. You have to be between the ages of 20 and 58. It's free in all states, but you only have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and about 10 states. If you're not in one of those 10 states, it's going to cost you $39.99 to file a state tax return in one of those other states. Okay, so tax layer is another one. Tax layer, you have to have an adjusted gross income of 44,000 or less. You can be any age. It's free in some states. I counted roughly 23 states. So if you're not in one of these 23 states, then it's gonna cost $22.95 to file the federal return and $39.95 to file the state return. So pretty expensive. And there's another one. There's also 1040.com. 1040.com is even more complex. You have to have an adjusted gross income between 17,000 and 79,000 or are active military. And what do you get if you qualify? So if you make less than 17,000, you're not gonna qualify. So this is kind of a weird one. And all states are available for 999 or less. So most of these when I click on show 999. But guess what? Free Tax USA is free. So. Free Tax USA still wins, and you can have a lower income with Free Tax USA and still qualify for this. And unfortunately, I didn't see TurboTax on here at all. So it doesn't look like TurboTax is participating in this program. I don't see them listed. What does Free Tax USA look like? It's not some clunky form website that's hard to use. This is what it looks like. This is the 2023 I just logged in today. So basically, they ask you a bunch of questions, and then you have these different sections. So one thing that I liked about TurboTax when I used it years ago is that when I entered the W-2 info, I think when I entered the employer identification number, it auto-filled a lot of the address details for the employer. That was a nice thing, but FreeTax USA now has an upload a PDF thing. So for the W-2, you could upload the PDF of the W-2 that you received from the employer, and then I think it's supposed to auto-populate. It'll auto-populate everything so you don't have to enter it. So hopefully this works out pretty well. You can actually jump around too. So if you sold a main home, for example, you could click on this and you can do deductions. So you can basically click around to these various areas. So you've got income 
and then deductions, IRA contributions, all the stuff that you need. And they're not uh, they're not upselling you. So there's a little link, I think, initially to get you to do the deluxe for I think it's seven dollars. But it's not spamming you. It's not very spammy like a lot of the other software packages are, like uh, TurboTax and some of the other ones where whatever you do, they're trying to upsell you and make you feel like you didn't buy the most expensive thing. And what you get with the account, you can print out the return. So after it's filed, it e-files with the IRS. You can do the check for errors. You can print out the return. That's what I usually do as a backup. And you can log in and see prior year returns. So you can see prior year returns. Here you can see from mine, I've got, it looks like three years of prior year. Actually my prior year returns, I was thinking maybe they only did a few years. Look how far back they go. All the way, it looks like to 2000, all the way back to 2017. I guess that's when I started using Free Tax USA. Now these options here, these aren't available for me because I'm not a paying customer. I'm doing the free one. If you want the live chat, you can get the deluxe support version, which is $7.99, and then you can do live chat. If you want pro support, which includes telephone support, then you can do the pro support, which is $39.95, and then you get tax advice and phone support. Here you can see the free tax USA deluxe support, $7.99. You get live chat, priority support, unlimited amendments, pro support, for $39.99 is includes personal tax advice, phone support, live screen share. As you can see, I've used Free Tax USA for many years. What do I like about them? Well, other than the price, which is free, I like that the most. They've always been fast. The website's been fast. It's never had slowdowns. So even during tax season, the website's always been fast and snappy. I've never seen the website go down. I like that. And the interface is very good. Now there's other ones out there. I didn't include, there's some that had really bad interfaces that I didn't include. But this seems to be a fairly large company or at least they've taken the time to organize everything nicely and it's quick. So that's what I like about Free Tax USA. And it seems fairly secure too. So before you can log in, usually you've got to put in a special pin number they sent to you. And I trust sharing my information with this company versus you know some of these smaller ones that are that are newer that's why i believe free tax usa is the best tax service and the cheapest tax service for us taxes now i'm actually on a special url link that actually came from the irs website that has the free program so if you don't click this special link it's possible that you may actually have to pay $14.99 if you're in one of the states if you do the state filing so so this link is freetaxusa.com forward slash free file 2023 if you click on this link it'll take you to this page and you'll get the option of maybe not being charged the $14.99 if you don't click on this you'll go to this link here that shows $14.99 for the state so I'm not sure if you have to do that but you may actually want to go to that link directly if you like this video, please press that like button and subscribe. It's free, it doesn't cost anything, and it'll help the channel. Thanks a lot. Also, I'll put a link below the video for a $100 bonus Discover credit card. You'll get $100 when you sign up with the Discover IT no annual fee card and you make one single purchase, that's it. So check for the link below.